All right, thanks, Kalisha. And we'll continue to track that and give you the latest as soon as it's available. Now, another pastor, this time one based in Kingston, has been charged with impregnating a 13-year-old girl. The child's grandmother has been charged with failing to report the matter. It's reported that the 23-year-old pastor and the teenager met on Facebook and she was invited to his church in Kingston. Now, they reportedly developed an intimate relationship, resulting in the teenager becoming pregnant. The girl and her grandmother were taken to Sissoka on December 1 by an officer from the Child Protection and Family Service Agency, where a report was made. The girl gave birth on December 7 last year, six days after making the report. An operation was conducted in downtown Kingston on Monday, and the suspect was apprehended and later charged. Now, he was remanded until his next court appearance on June 17. And a man is in police custody facing several charges of child sexual abuse. Head of the St. Mary Police Division, Superintendent Bobbitt Morgan Simpson, says the child's age ranges from 6 to 12 years old. Now, the man is said to have moved to the parish recently. Anthony Log has the details. Parents, guardians, beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. Head of the St. Mary Police Division, Superintendent Bobbitt Morgan Simpson, issuing a warning shortly after revealing that a man has been charged for sexually assaulting five children in the parish. These children range in age from 6 to 12 years old. St. Mary has been grappling with charges like rape and having sex with children under 16 for quite some time. The details of this case is troubling. Four boys and a girl, and the charges range from buggery, indecent assault, eight kids, eight incidents of indecent assault, one buggery, and a grievous sexual assault. He portrays himself as a disciplinarian. So if he sees the children doing anything, they will speak to them, you must behave yourself, you must, you know, that sort of thing. But at the same time, he was there messing around with these children. Though persons have been brought before the court in relation to these matters, the St. Mary police continue to face an uphill task. That's because in a number of these cases, family members refuse to speak up. It was only because, you know, one of these, these, these children would have found the courage to speak to somebody why this is now coming out. She's again calling for parents and family members to remain vigilant. We have to be very, very careful what we do with our children and who we leave our children with. Speak to our children, you know, have the children confide in you, build that kind of relationship where that child will confide in you, where that child is willing to tell you just about anything. Anybody touches that child, whether it is just a hug, just something, that child has that level of confidence that you will do something when they tell you about it. She was speaking at the monthly municipal meeting on Thursday. Anthony Log, TVJ News.